Hey, what's going on everyone? Michael back with another SharePoint video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you lookup columns within Microsoft lists, SharePoint list. So lookup columns are columns that link two lists together. It's like a relationship. So you can use a lookup column to have a link between your primary list and the secondary list. So I'm going to show you that now. So I created two lists. We have marketing products 2022 and we have the contacts list. So the marketing projects is going to hold um, all the project information. So let me go ahead and show you the contact list. So in the contact list, we actually have our contacts for uh, maybe out of the organization contacts that we work with on the marketing projects. So let me go into the SharePoint list columns, list settings, and I want to add a new column. So I'll go to create column down here. And let's say I want the contact name. So it's gonna be the contact name for the project. And lookup. So you can have a description here. Acquire this column to contain information, it's up to you. But we want to get this information from the list contacts. And I just refresh really quick. And so the title actually contains the contact name for that SharePoint list. So I'm going to use that as the main lookup. And then you can also, along with the title, you can also bring over other information that relates to the row. So I actually do wanna bring in the phone number and the email address and add this to the default view. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, let's go back to the marketing projects 2022 list. So let's go ahead and create a marketing project. Let's say we got to work on uh, beach party 2022. Um, coworkers retreat. Project date. This is going to be just some information. Then we have our lookup field right here. It's the contact name. So it'd be the title from the other SharePoint list. And we can actually select which contact I want to use. So let's say Paul Green's in charge of it. Go ahead and select Paul Green. And as you can see, we now have a link to the contacts list. So as you can see, we got Paul Green, his phone number, his email address, and we have a contact Paul Green. And then all of his information right here. And it brings in along his phone number and the email. So the way that it comes in with the lookup field, it'll name it contact name and then everything that's brought along with it it'll be set in this format right here you can also rename it if you want so let's see i didn't want that i just want the phone number and let's say i just wanted the email address so that is a lookup field in sharepoint it's pretty useful if you're working with multiple lists and you are bringing in information from one list to the other so I'll just do one more project to show you. Uh, mountain retreat, project description, coworkers retreat. Uh, enter in a date. Contact name and use Ryan this time. And as you can see, we brought in Ryan and the details along with it from the contact list. So lookup columns can only be used right now for single line of text numbers and date and time. So if you're trying to use a lookup column on any of the other field types, it's not going to work. So try to keep it to like some simple information and that'll be it for today's video. So if you like the video, go ahead, subscribe, comment, and like the video. Uh, if you want to see more SharePoint teams and Power Automate tutorials, feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.